Sunburn is a common skin condition caused by excessive exposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun or artificial sources like tanning beds. It's a form of radiation burn that affects the outermost layer of the skin, and it can vary in severity from mild redness to extremely painful blisters. Sunburn happens when the skin is exposed to that UV radiation from the sun's rays. The radiation can damage the DNA in skin cells, leading to inflammation and redness. The skin produces more melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color, in response to UV exposure as a natural defense mechanism. But excessive exposure overwhelms this protective response, resulting in sunburn. There are three types of UV radiation, UVA, UVB, and UVC. UVC is mostly absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere and doesn't reach the skin. UVA and UVB, on the other hand, can penetrate the atmosphere and cause damage to your skin. And people with fair skin, they tend to be more susceptible to sunburn due to lower melanin levels, which offers less natural protection against UV radiation. However, people of all skin types can get sunburned if they're exposed to intense sunlight for an extended period of time without protection. It's very important. Always use protection. People living in desert regions are not immune to sunburn either. In fact, they might be at an increased risk due to the reflective properties of sand, which can intensify UV radiation exposure. Moreover, individuals in desert areas may underestimate the risk of sunburn because of the misconception that it's less likely to happen in those desert regions. The severity of a sunburn, it could actually range from mild redness and discomfort all the way to severe pain and blistering and even some poisoning. Symptoms typically appear within a few hours after exposure and they can worsen over the next 24 to 48 hours. Sunburns are not only painful, but also increase the risk of skin cancer, including melanoma, the most dangerous type of skin cancer. Repeated sunburns over time can lead to cumulative damage. Treatment for the sunburn, it involves keeping the affected area cool, moisturized, and protected from further sun exposure. Over-the-counter pain relievers and anti-inflammatory creams can help manage your discomfort. Put a little lotion on it. Blister formation is actually kind of fascinating. It occurs as a response to the body's attempt to protect the damaged skin. The damaged skin cells release fluid to create a cushion between the raw, sensitive skin beneath and the external environment, which actually aids in healing. Interestingly, having five or more blistering sunburns between the age of 15 and 20 years old increases the risk of melanoma by 80% and non-melanoma skin cancer by 68%. More than 400,000 cases of skin cancer are estimated to be related to indoor tanning beds in the United States alone. So just remember, having five or more sunburns in your life doubles your risk of melanoma. Do you know what you call a librarian with a sunburn? Well read. These are interesting things with JC.